Hello YouTube, it's Q's for Question here, bringing how to set up EasyVid. This is a follow up on my video, how to manipulate EasyVid. That video described how to get your raw footage out of the files, out of the folder, and um, prevent EasyVid from doing anything destructive to your audio, especially your gameplay audio. Um, that will be in the description below to that video, and also there will be an annotation somewhere on the screen. Uh, anyway, here's how to set it up. A lot of questions recently, well, basically the entire time I've had that video, about how to do this, what to do, etc, etc. Um, basically what I would do is I would start up my game. I've already started Minecraft. Um, whatever game you want to record, you're going to start it up. Best idea, do it in windowed mode. It does not like full screen mode because it records only the desktop space. That is one thing is it's unlike DX Tori or Bandicam, it does not target a window, which means well it can these two, they do target windows, but EasyVid only targets a portion of the desktop screen, which makes it a good program for beginners because it's very simple to use, but for more advanced people it is really, really, really troublesome. So without further ado, let's get on. I've started up the game. I'm gonna actually leave it open here. Open up EasyVid. Now uh, I've tried recording with EasyVid as a test um, prior to this, and it does not like it. Just likes to crash. So I will warn you that if this is not going to work, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. So here we are. EasyVid version 0.9.3.0. That is how you know it's at the top. You can also look here. There it is again. That's nice. It tells you right there. Okay. I always click new project when I begin. Um, if it's going to respawn, I hope it didn't crash. Oh, shoot. It might have just done that. Well, that's why you bring up Task Manager. And you say, Nay! Goodbye, end task. Don't know why you like to crash. Um, <laughs> it's probably because I'm doing this. Okay. So, do not want to change. I have a new project up. Just click New Project. Um, go over here. Capture screen. You say use advanced settings. Normally, what I use is microphone capture in transparent mode. You can use this. Uh, I might actually use that for this. And then, if you want a webcam, you can have that. But you don't need it. So anyway, um, never click this. Never click this. Never use that. Whatever you do, do not. It seems to crash. I always crashes for me. Don't click it. Um, and I won't have this on because I'm recording right now with Bandicam, which is a pretty good software. Uh, so there you go, there's that. There's one thing to note though, um, and I will show you after it crashes what happens. So I'm going to start Advanced Capture, and I'm going to select right here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crash, but it's probably going to crash. Alright, three, two, one, and it's, oh, there it goes. But anyway, okay, so if it didn't crash, which is really hard to show it record and not crash, and I've gotten it to record with window mode, it's fine. Um, basically, after you start recording, it's going to automatically do this. It's going to automatically do that. There's no way to avoid that. Um, now, if you have a laptop, for example, I have a button that lets me mute, unmute my audio, also change volumes. Um, if you, if you start recording, don't necessarily start speaking right away. Come down here, simply click on this, uh, speaker icon in the toolbar section, as I call it. Click that, you're gonna bring this up. Now it's gonna be like this, right? Click it. That's, that's, that's as easy as it gets. That's as easy as it gets to record your audio. Um... Basically, EasyVid automatically mutes it when you start recording with microphone, which is, I think, sort of weird, but I think it's also to prevent the sound from being all junked up. And so anyway, here and then you go into Mixer, you can click here, go Mixer, you can adjust the individual volumes as needed, and say I want to be Minecraft 100%, I can, say I want like 10% there, I can adjust all the applications. Um, if you have a problem with your microphone, and I've had this question before, don't need to necessarily left click, right click, you get this whole menu of options. Um, 
These three are the three. Uh, these two are actually the most common. These three actually. Sounds that is just simply for your PC noise that it makes when something goes wrong. Uh, anyway, so you go into um, you can go here and play back if you want. See, I have these two. My speakers are the only thing on. The only thing that plays. Um, I can go into recording, and you can see my microphone's going way up. Um, if you don't see anything here, and you see, you see, I disabled this. I can do this. Show disabled the uh, well that too, but show disabled devices. If you do not see your microphone, it may be disabled. So right-click in the empty space, click show disabled devices. You there get all of your um, disabled devices. In this case, just this one. This is my default device. Is my headset mic. You can, if the level's too low and it's really quiet, go into properties, go to levels, and you can see right here everything that you need to know. Listen, if you want to listen, you can. You don't need to. Um, and these are all just the other properties. This tells you if you want. So if I want to say, well, I can, but I will not do that. So this is the this is for the audio issue that a lot of people get. Um, that's just something that people come across. So if you do not hear your anything playing, you can make sure it's unmuted. Um, if you do not hear yourself and your your mic isn't working or something, go in here, show disabled device if it's if it's not already on. Go click on here. You can say properties. Go to levels. Make sure it's up. Um, I have a program that lets me edit the sound so that I can have a reasonable uh, volume on everything. I can adjust it as needed. I leave everything at 100% volume simply because that allows me when I record to adjust it. I can do that. So anyway, um, that is pretty much it. Um, I hope you learned a little bit about what to do with EasyVid. Um, then, if you have any issues with the uh, manipulating part of it about how to get your audio as it is, your gameplay, whatever, go to that other video. I show you exactly what you do. You just need to press that pause button and then go in and drag it out, and drag out the files. And uh, that pretty much covers all of it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around. Bye.